I've been searching all over YouTube to find a video of someone getting the number one overall draft pick and for the most part, I couldn't really find anything. I even started to doubt if it was even possible because the highest pick I seen anyone get was number two to the Lakers. But I did it. It wasn't easy, but I did it. I finally managed to play well enough to get the number one overall draft pick. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get it. Now, before you even play a single game, scroll down to your settings and make sure the difficulty is set to rookie. This will make it a lot easier for you to get that number one overall pick because if you don't put it on rookie, there's going to be a lot of nonsense going on. And it's going to be virtually impossible for you to get drafted number one. Once you have your difficulty set to rookie, if you have any VC before your first game, I advise you to slightly upgrade your player if you choose to. Now don't get me wrong, this could be done without upgrading a single attribute and I'm going to show you later on in the video that I got this with a 55 overall player. The only plus side to upgrading your player is that it will be a little easier for you on offense and on defense. So now that we got all of the pre-game settings out of the way, it's time to go after that number one pick. Now the first game should be relatively easier than the following games after that. Your main goal is to score very, very quickly. If you're a guard, this should be fairly easy because you can either move the analog stick or press square or X to steal the ball from the other team and get an easy fast break bucket. And if you do this enough times, you should find yourself with around 30 points or so in the first game. Once we start moving into the actual college games, that's when things start to get a little tricky because these guys tend to have better ball handling than the second string guard on your team. If you're a big man, it should be relatively easy as well because all you have to do is contest shots, get the rebound, and get inside of the paint on the other end so you can make an easy post shot. If you happen to have made a small forward, you might have to take the guard approach, the big man approach, or maybe even a little bit of both to try to get that number one pick. As far as actual stats go, however, I'm guessing that you need to average around 40 points per game along with a few extra stats in other categories because I averaged around 48 points per game throughout my collegiate career, but I also made sure I had double digit steals in every single game. And if there was a game where I wasn't doing so well, I simply closed the application and picked up right where I left off so my draft stock did not drop. One thing to take into consideration is the teammate grade. Now you can have all the points in the world, but if you had six turnovers with the C minus teammate grade, you might as well start all the way over because you're not gonna get the number one pick if your teammate grade was anything below an A. Another thing I wasn't exactly sure about was the Team USA game. Now this is around, what, my fourth time trying to get the number one pick? The first three times I had crazy stats, but I figured that Team USA had nothing to do with the draft, so I simply simmed to the end. I even seen on a few websites that people said the Team USA game did not matter whatsoever. But every single time I did that, I got drafted number two to the Lakers. The one time I actually played the Team USA game, I got drafted number one. So I don't know if it's a requirement, but I do know it worked for your boy, so try it out. Anyways, that's really about it. That's how you get drafted number one overall in NBA 2K17. You can do it with a 55 overall. You can do it with any position. Some positions easier than others. But nonetheless, it is possible. Now, if you guys are having trouble, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to assist you. But until next time, you know where to find me.